Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. I have a computer that I'm getting some requests on that they want to see what's inside it. They want to know what's going on in here. They want to know what's what. So I made this video to show you what is what, okay, and what's inside the computer. It's going to get a pair of plies here. All right. Now, this is the inside of the computer. I'm going to take it apart piece by piece and then show you guys what's what in the computer, okay? First thing I want to do is take out this box up here. This is called a power supply. It, of course, the name power supply is it gives power to everything. Now, I'm going to take, I use these because usually when I pull them out, it usually cuts my hands. See, my hands all cut up. I usually use these and it pops them right out. This is unhooking the power supply. Okay, now, it's done. It's all. Now I'm going to just unscrew it. Okay. Usually it doesn't come out that hard. Usually it's a lot easier. But um, here's another clip. Okay, now that's the power supply. What you can do is you can sell these for like 20 cents a pound. Inside there's like aluminum and some other things, but um, if you're not interested and, and you just want to scrap it, they'll give you 20 cents a pound for this. What I would do is cut the cables right here, right at the end. There, take this, put these cables with your wire supply. All right, and you can leave these little things there. You can leave this on. You can just cut this off, put it with your wire supply, and they'll take it, no problem. Okay, now, remember, power supply. Also, when you're taking apart a computer, let's say you want to save the memory, uh, save a CPU chip, save a hard drive. If you want to do that and you want to use it on something else or you just want to add more memory, you have to put something on that is going to, um, I guess they call it like an anti-static, a static guard. I can't remember the exact name for it. But um, they do sell these little these little wristbands that you put on and then you, you ground yourself. Okay, to the computer. What's going to happen is if you want to take the memory out, let's say you ever uh, walked on a carpet with socks on, like on a dry day, on a winter day, and then touch something and get zapped, well, that's what you're going to do to the computer. You're going to end up zapping the computer. You're going to mess up the, um, the memory, the motherboard. You're going to mess something up in here. And within six months, your computer could go bad. All right? There's a lot of people going to, are going to comment on this saying, no, that's not true. But I've done this. I've read about it. I talked to some IT people, they tell me the same thing, you have to ground yourself. You ever see somebody fixing a copy machine? He might have something connected to his belt that's connected to the machine itself. He's actually grounding himself. Okay, so now this is a this is a a CPU fan, okay? I'm gonna take this apart and I'll show you this one too. Now this has a little piece of plastic, you can take that off. You can take this plastic off here also. This plastic that's up here. You can sell this as is. Cut the cable off. Cut this little cord and sell it. It's like a berry motor or something like that it's called. But they will give you money for that. Okay, you put that with your other motors. Okay. Next is these cables. Over there. Okay. These cables go with your wire. The same wire I just showed you on your power supplies and you cut your extension cords and things like that. These go with that. All right, so you can put these with that. Here's another one. I don't want to pull on anything because you guys aren't supposed to be pulling this stuff because I'm using these pliers because I like to pull and what happens is I end up getting cut, all right? I end up cutting my hands up and stuff. All right, now I'm going to pull out, let's see if you can see that there, there you go. These are the hard drives. These are the hard drives and up here, these are the disk drives and if you can see down here, that's a little floppy, all right? Now I'm going to take out the hard drives and th this one is easy. This one is just click the two sides together and it comes out easy. See that? That is the nicest thing right there. Okay, now I'm gonna take, this is the, the floppy. All right, reason, there you go. Okay, all right, now, I'm gonna show you something here with the hard drives. Take the hard drives, you see these boards? You can separate the whole hard drive if you want or sell it as is for like 20 cents a pound. Inside the hard drives, there's these things called platters. Give me a second here, I'm gonna show you exactly. These are the platters that are inside a hard drive. Okay, some depending on how big the 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 me uh, not the memory uh, the um, the space the disk space on the hard drive depends on how many you have. Okay, I can't tell you exactly what it is. I think maybe three gigabytes might have two or something like that. But this is pretty much what the platters look like. Now the platters have, I think it's platinum. 
on the top and aluminum inside. Okay, and these are pliers here, and there's some more over here. You can see how how big these things get. All right, these you can sell them as is, like this on eBay or something. You can make some money on that. Okay, the other one is there's a magnet inside the hard drives. Okay, I'll show you what they look like. These are the magnets that go inside the hard drive. These are like called rare earth magnets, or they're called um, neodymium, something like that. I can't pronounce the name. But these are some pretty big magnets here. These also, you can sell these on eBay or, you know, if you want to play with them. But don't put your finger in between these magnets. They will pinch you. It does hurt, okay? And I've done it. So, you know, believe me on that. Okay? And these are some other ones. These are some other colored magnets here. You know, sell the whole thing as it is. And like I said, they are worth money on eBay. You can, you can get some money for that. All right, so that's the hard drives. Now, again, you can sell this as it is. I think you maybe get 30 cents a pound for this. You do need special, like, Torx screws to get these out. All right? Take this out. Inside, like I said, there's the magnet. There's the platters. And these ends here, That's there's this uh, gold-plated. So you're going to make money on everything itself. All right? But you need a lot of this. Okay? And it goes for both. As you can see, both of them are the same. This goes for both on scrapping them. You can scrap them as they are or take them apart and make some extra money. All right, now for these, disk drives, the floppies and the disk drives. Ugh. These, this again, you can either scrap it back here. That's, that's aluminum back there. If you're into scrapping them, take them apart. Again, there's a little gold plate there. These are considered low grade when you take them to the scrapyard. They're going to give you... 10 cents a pound for, for this. Right here, this, this is maybe half a pound or maybe a whole pound. You're going to get 10 cents for this. You can go through it if you're interested in taking them apart. Remember, like I said, there's gold here. Inside, there's like maybe some aluminum. There's the motors. Do what you want with those or just, um, just build them up and just scrap them as they are. As you can see here, I have a few there and I have a few hard drives up there. Power supplies, you know, everything, as you can see there, okay? And I usually save them, and I usually take them apart to what I need, and then just sell the scrap here at the rest. Like, I'll usually take out the little gold parts, and then just, you know, chuck the rest in the scrap yard. All right? So that's, that's this. Any questions, please let me know on this. Now, let's keep going here. Inside, I don't know if you can see that in there. But in here, there's another piece that has little gold. Uh, I think this is for like a USBs. And there's some wire. There's another wire right there. I'm not going to take that out. This is going to take, uh, it might take a few minutes to take out. But um, you can get this out there. I want to concentrate now on the motherboard. Some of these motherboards have a uh, screws to take out. This one has uh, hex screws. But um, some of them have either Phillips or just one screw to take out and then it flips and you can just take the whole motherboard out. Now I'm going to use a tool here to remove, it. depending on how big they are, I'll show you um, later after I, sh I strip this, I'll show you some more scrap that I have for uh, computer stuff. This you might be able to sell this by itself for maybe $10, $20 depending on who needs this chip. If you can find collectors, they will give you money for this, okay? me. I just sell it as it is, you know, I'll put it on eBay or I'll have someone who says, you know, I want to buy all your chips and I'll sell it to them. All right. Now, the other thing is memory. These are the memory chips here or memory boards, RAM. This is what they look like. That on the bottom there, that's gold. Okay. These you can sell also at the scrapyard. This one, they'll give you like five fifty a pound. But like I said before, you know, if you sell them. As they are like this, you might find a collector, you get a lot of money for these. These, they might give you $2.75 a pound. These are worth a lot more to a collector or someone that needs this type of, uh, this type of chip. Here it says it's, um, what does that say here? What's it, 200, 266 megahertz, 512 megabyte DDR. Okay, if you know someone that needs a 512 megabyte DDR chip, and I think it has to do something with the pins and all that stuff, you can actually sell this to them and make some money. All right, now let's figure out why this board doesn't want to come out. Usually, if they don't come out, I usually pull them right out. 
This is the motherboard. <laughs> you guys are like, oh my God, he did a Kenny. All right, this is the motherboard. I'm gonna take this piece off here, okay? I don't have to clip it or anything. I'm just gonna pop it right off. See that? It came right off. Now there's your motherboard. You can sell this as is. You took out the CPU unit. You took out the RAM. There were video cards here. You can pull them right out. Sell it as is. There's gold. All this is gold in here. These little connections here. There's some gold right there. There's gold behind here. There's gold in there. There's palladium. More gold. Sell it as it is. This, I can't remember. I think this is like $2.75 a pound, maybe $3 a pound, depending on what scrap you're to go to. Collect them. Save them up. The scrap guy that I was talking to that was supposed to give me all the information on how to turn this stuff into gold and, you know, the disintegrate everything to get the gold out has never contacted me back. Guys, I'm so excited about this. You know, we're going to, there's, he has all these machines to do this. Guy never contacted me back. If you don't know what you're doing, if you want to get into this and start scrapping the, um, the gold using those harsh chemicals, they do use cyanide, sulfuric acid, things like that. Don't do it. All right, guys, don't get into this. This stuff will kill you. You know what cyanide is, sulfuric acid. It'll burn a hole in your chest, okay? It'll disintegrate your lungs if you don't know what you're doing. All right, but I would sell this as is, or you can sell it to a, ref a refinery. They might give you some money for this, or you might sell it to, uh, like I said, a collector. They, might, they will give you money for this stuff because they're the ones who either collect them and rebuild them, or they'll take it to a refinery and do it themselves, or they might do it themselves. There are people that are telling me, oh, you can save the computer, rebuild them. Okay, you guys can rebuild it. Do what you want to these boards. I scrap them. I do not have room. I get maybe 100, 200 of these computers a month. All right, and I'll show you. All right, guys, so this is that. Now, as far as the this is concerned, this is an empty shell. You can sell it as is. All right, one of my subscribers asked me if they can crush the the uh, the tower, yes, you can crush it. The scrapyard will take it crushed because he doesn't have enough room in his truck. Do it. Take it apart. Scrap it. You know, this is just, like I said, it's just an empty shell now. There's nothing, there's nothing left in it except that little piece back there that I'm going to scrap. So I'm going to show you right now the other stuff I have on... CPU units, uh, memory boards, motherboards, uh, PCI cards that wasn't in here. The PCI cards I had taken them out earlier. So now, but I'm going to show you that. This now. is what I wanted to show you: the uh, the sound cards, the, all the PCI cards that were in there. This is what they look like. All right, you can see the gold fingers. This went into a uh, computer monitor. All right, again, there's more gold there. All right, and this stuff you can sell this as is, like this on eBay, or if they do work. You can actually make some nice money on this stuff. This is a another. Uh, I just lost my train of thought there. This is for another monitor. This one takes two, okay, like a VGA and a VGI, something like that. It's called, and it has its own cooling unit. All right, um, I have something like this on mine. If you need like three monitors or more, you're gonna need two of these video cards, okay. And this is phone. Again, you know, like internet, this is, you can see that. This is a sound card. This has all the connections. You can see all that gold that's there, all the gold there, the gold in the back. People, like I said, if this stuff works, you can sell this for good money on eBay or one of your friends or something. Again, this is, uh, looks like a, like I was telling you, the, the memory, the RAM. This is about 1.6 pounds of RAM here that um, I am actually selling and the, this one here is a Pentium 2 with a heat sink okay this is the chip inside here now this is what the chips look like when they're out there's like one chip per per board but um this is this is it you can see little gold fingers there some guy said on a comment on one of my um, other scrapping things that I'm all coked up. I have no idea what that means. But, um, probably because they don't really know about, they don't understand about the things with the computers. Now, here's some more Pentium chips. Alright, this is all 
you know, you can, this is like, says a 386, so this is probably one of the, one of the first ones that says 1985. This chip alone is probably worth maybe 40 bucks, depending on who you buy it from. I'm just going to sell them as a whole, okay, and whoever wants them, you can have them. Now this here, this is from the keyboards. This is, uh, these little lines in here, that's actually silver. You need to go through those chemical things I told you about before, which I don't want you guys doing. Uh, pretty much that's it. That's it. That's, that's all the chips that were in here. There's like the CPUs and stuff. There's, that's it. I hope this taught you, you know, what's inside a computer. Um, I, I'm sorry it took so long, but anyway, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Mike the Scrapper. Till then guys, peace.